Vikings fall to 3-5 and five after losing to the Baltimore Ravens at MNT Bank Stadium yesterday. Final score 34-31, which, whatever, man. I, I refuse to continue to let this team ruin my day. The 2021 Minnesota Vikings, they have been an embarrassment. They've been a waste of time. In terms of yesterday's game, Baltimore was plus 22 and a half in time of possession, plus 182 in yards, plus 23 in first downs, and plus 37 in offensive plays. The Vikings started out great with a 17-3 lead, which when it comes to the scripted drives, the scripted plays, the Vikings are arguably the best team in the league. It's the filling of the game where adjustments are required. That's usually where the head coach is left spinning in circles. After the Vikings went up 17-3, to the next four possessions for Baltimore, they scored four straight touchdowns. Going into the half, the Vikings were up 17-10, to and then the second half started, which resulted in a kickoff return for a touchdown 98 yards by Kane and Wangu. So at this point, the Vikings, they're up by two scores. Pretty great from that point on, and we can talk about how the Vikings offense, they didn't do a good enough job of staying on the field to give the defense some breathing room, but specifically, I'm talking about the first defensive possession of the second half. You literally had the entire halftime to rest up. Baltimore ran 10 plays for 72 yards and a touchdown, which also included two fourth down conversions. The next offensive possession for the Vikings, which featured Tyler Conklin, that resulted in a punt. After that, Baltimore, they tied a game 24 all. At that point, the Vikings, the next offensive possession, run, tip pass, dump off, punt. After that, Baltimore, they go up 31 to 24. And at that point, the Vikings finally decided to turn up and tie the game 31 all with a touchdown to Adam Thielen. You get to OT, Ravens, they get the ball first. And Anthony Barr, man, he made a spectacular play. I've been ripping this dude for at least the last three to four years. He batted the ball, a pass from Lamar Jackson, batted the ball and recovered and got the interception to give his team a chance to win in overtime. And what's really interesting is the biggest problem I have with Anthony Barr, 55, he's a very talented player when he chooses to be. He's capable of making plays like that on a consistent basis. But Vikings, they get the ball back. To lead off with a swing pass to Dalvin Cook to the left, a handoff to Dalvin Cook, third and long, you threw up a prayer fading back that landed in the dirt intended for Adam Thielen. Essentially, run, run, pass, defense, defense, defense. Baltimore, they got the ball back. They won the game. Kirk Cousins, I don't give a fuck anymore. I've tried to defend this guy, but at some point, at some point, you got to take control when you're on the field with your players. You got to make a play, even if the coaching staff is ass, which, by the way, Clint Kubiak, awful play calling. He should absolutely be fired, only on the condition that the head coach follows him. Why? Because if we're just going to fire the offensive coordinator, then he's just another scapegoat for Mike Zimmer. You're wasting everybody's time. And just to be clear here, as far as why Kubiak needs to go, the conservative play calling. So once the scripted plays, once the scripted drives run out, you become predictable. You play super scared. And after the Anthony Barr interception in overtime, the Vikings on offense coming back onto the field, they started their drive being forced to call a timeout to avoid a delay of game penalty because they were unorganized. And I'm sorry. Did Clint Kubiak promote himself? Is he going rogue here? Does he have free reins on the offense? Oh, no, you don't understand. Mike Zimmer, the head coach, he wants to go full throttle on this offense, but Clint Kubiak is holding him back. Fuck off. We've had three offensive coordinators the last, what, three years? And the offense has been the same. What's been the constant with this team during that time? It's been the head coach. This team's going nowhere, never will with this guy. It's as clear as day. This team has beaten the spirit out of me. But the Wolf Brothers, they don't give a fuck, so neither do I. With that said, I want to play a game with the viewers, all of you out there. I have three questions for you. Number one, Justin Jefferson yesterday was targeted just five times. How long until he forces a trade out of Minnesota? Number two. What bullshit-ass stats will Mike Zimmer come up with 
at his next press conference to suggest that he's doing a great job. And number three, at what point will C.J. Ham be listed as the wide receiver one on the depth chart? Reply to those questions in the comments section below. Next video will be Wednesday. We'll see you then.